so their philosophy is that you know you will not give your whole chest area facing that to the opponent. It's always the sideways, which is also similar to kickboxing as well. <coughs> the first one is like a try. Come back, retrieve. <coughs> and then the, the, the most deadly one will be the, the, the last one that goes from bottom to up and it goes to the neck. So, for example, in their philosophy, they will attack opponent's face, uh, face with their hand, but they will leave the opponent's chest region with their elbows. Because if, if they want, if, for example, if you raise your elbow for too high to reach for the face, so also they will not, not <laughs> kick anything above the, uh, the, uh, this area, they will only kick at below. So in their, um, in their martial art system, the requirements, your elbow will, should, should always protect your, uh, your ribs and your hands will always protect your faces. And when they move forward or necessarily backward, they need to, to make a stance where they protect their crotches area. So, because they they intend to kick other people in the areas, and then they know that, likewise, they need to protect themselves. So they, they stand in a way that, uh, as if they get a uh, a cross kick, they won't actually receive the uh, the fatal damage. It's their their stand. So their philosophy is that, you know, you will not give your whole chest area facing that to the opponent. It's always the sideways, which is also similar to kickboxing as well. So their philosophy is that you know you will not give your whole chest area facing that to the opponent. It's always the sideways, which is also similar to kickboxing as well. <coughs> the first one is like a try. Come back, retrieve. <coughs> and then the, the, the most deadly one will be the, the, the last one that goes from bottom to up and it goes to the neck. You see, the thing is, no martial art, we believe that why there are so many schools, different styles, is because no martial art is invented to, uh, as far as we know today, to conquer every single scenario situation. Different styles of martial arts were invented to, to take care of special scenarios. For example, Xin Yi Quan, when it was invented or practiced in the army, of course, what you need to worry about is when you march, make sure you don't fall down, because you fall down, you'll probably be as good as dead. You have no time to wrestle or to lock somebody. And for example, some other martial arts when they were invented, maybe in the north we say why northern people like to uh, like to wrestle a little bit more because you wear more clothes in a, in, a, in time where you have more things to grab. So each martial art was invented to um, to cater some specific geographical or demographical special features. And coming down, that it'll be great nowadays we can uh, take advantage of knowing so many different styles will help us to uh, conquer different environments because we're not gonna stay in one environment all the time like in the old days, right?